Good afternoon, everyone. I've brought out a few of my middleweight saws today in response to a question by a couple of guys I've dealt with before asking about the About one of my little Danons, this is a Danon 55, a uh, British saw, beautiful, beautifully engineered saw, and so I thought I'd bring out a few of the other ones, similar era, yeah, mostly similar era, so these little beauties made their uh, debut in the, well, 1970, circa 1970, maybe just before, and for their tiny little footprint, and they do look small with the, with, the, with this little stumpy bar on. This um, makes just under a genuine three British horsepower. So its size and its footprint is deceptive. These are really, really ferocious little creatures. So I was asked, how does it perform compared to some of the other saws from the era? Well, compared to some of the modern day saws, if you're looking at any of the smaller steels or huskies this thing just annihilates it so these just over 54 cc can pull up to a 24 to 25 inch bar this one's currently fitted with a period real beautiful period pioneer genuine pioneer solid nose bar and you can see the the stamping and the way that the steel's been rolled out period semi chisel chain but again equally happy running 20 roller nose full chisel and so similar ones from the era would be something like the Solo 620 AV Spectacular 52 cc's. There's what are they in cc order actually? There's all oh right, yeah, the Solo then it's uh, 52 cc's, the Down on 55 54 cc's, the R17 follow on from the R16 just with AV mounts. Um, again, 44 mil piston. 55 cc's and the Poulan and the steel 56 cc's so there's a real and you could add Wow, well, you could add a lot of saws in that era which are spectacular you could put some of the John Sids in like the 6 series 621 um, so anyway let me show you what this little unassuming girl actually cuts like and they're an eye-opener so if any of you are after a a well, professional saw in its day. This is the unusually as well. They have this in two guises. You can have this in the left hand or the right hand pull start. So this is the pull start on the left hand clutch casing, which is um, sorry on the flywheel casing, which is conventional. Uh, so I've got a little bit of wood which I've been clearing up with with one of my later huskies. Let me show you what a well configured 55 actually runs like. Again, I was going to say, this is me starting some of these old engines, such is their condition. Um, that they just have fantastic compression and actually on the subject of engines somebody else messaged about my Dan Arm 70 and they were looking at a I don't know why I look I love the Huskies as well in that period and um, actually there's a few really nice forestry saws from that period even in the steel you know if you're looking like a the four eights are nice they are they're nice saws um, with some ignition troubles, but uh, you know, why was the 70 such a robust saw? Well, any of you looking at something with real longevity that was designed in, you know, the, the Dan Arm 70 has a cast iron liner, could be a reboard. The Dan Arm 70 has a removable head. You look today and try and find anything with a cast iron liner you could rebore or with a removable head for work. It's just, they're just different. They're just so different. <sighs> These type of saws really for 
for home users, they could absolutely last a lifetime for a lot of users. Hey guys, so we've been clearing through, even though this oak is, oh my goodness, has got the, the centre gone, that is solid as a rock, that wood, and they're just formidable performers, just, if you were working through a wood stack at home, they are just sensational. So, do not be deceived by the footprint of some of these engines. So she may be circa 50 years old, and but is an absolute annihilator of wood. Condition of the engine, I hope it answers it for people, is... Um <laughs> Screw up, I'm doing at the back. The little knuckle guard is uh, dropped somewhere. Right, find that in a second. So there she is. So she's, well, and a real piece of history. So hopefully suitable for one of you out there, undamaged, in beautiful condition. Somebody's done a tiny bit of touch up paint on this, this particular one, which um, uh, it's not terrible, but it wouldn't be something I would do. But there she is. So. That's the Danarm 55, and they are just spectacular. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe. Bye for now.